Hello, this is Michelle and I'm sharing a cute wintry mittens illustration in watercolor today. Feel free to paint along with me. I'll go over the process I follow to paint this easy illustration and show you a fun everyday household item you can use to get the really unique background I ended up with. So I started by sketching out a pair of mittens with a heart shaped snowball in the center. After finishing up my sketch, I laid down some clean water all the way around the mittens and I didn't want it to pool too much. I wanted just kind of a, a thin layer of water and I proceeded to drop in some blue just wherever I felt like it um, and I tried to just let the paint go where it wanted to and my hope was that it would give the viewer a sense of a snowy, blurry snowy background. So once my snowy background dried, I moved on to the mittens. Now you can paint these in any color you'd like, and it's up to you whether you include a design or a pattern on the mittens. I chose to paint a snowflake pattern on the palm of the mittens, but you can be as creative you, as you want. If I had to do it over again, I would have put some masking fluid down on the snowflakes on the mittens just to make it easier for me to paint. Um, I wouldn't have had to paint so delicately around my pattern. Um, but by the time I got to this point, I was sort of committed, so I just kept going with it. I put one layer of red down I felt like the red looked a little dull to me so I knew I wanted to add more layers of the red until I got the color right or how I liked it. I think it's best to start lighter with watercolors and keep layering on the paint until you get the results that you want. You can always go darker with watercolor but you can't go lighter.
in the palm of the mittens and where the mittens sort of join against each other, I envision that there would be a shadow there. So I want to create that shadow to show, you know, where the light wouldn't be hitting. So the mittens curling underneath the snowflake, you would see a bit of shadow, not as much light would be hitting that area of the mittens. So what I decided to do was add a little bit of green to my red to give it sort of more of a muted shadow color. And you have to be kind of careful how you mix um, contrasting colors like that. Um, red, red and green are somewhat contrasting. So you want to just be a little bit careful with how much green you're mixing in there. You don't want to be too liberal with it. Otherwise, you'll end up with brown. And so I use that kind of darker red, the more kind of shadowy red, to again show where the light isn't hitting the mittens. And then also um, later on in my process, I kind of use a watered down version of that shadow color to add a little bit of like the effect of the stitching that you would see on mittens. Okay, so as I was finishing up the painting, I wasn't really happy with the background. It looked a little too subtle and muted to me. So I added some washi tape around the sides and I re-wet the whole surface again um, where I had originally done the background. And then I mixed up some more dark blues, so a little bit more of a dramatic um background color for the effect that I was going for. background how I like it I use some just regular table salt and I sprinkle it in my hand first so I can control where it goes but then I sprinkle it all over my background while it's still wet then I let my painting dry 
And once it's dry, I can brush the salt off. And there you go. You get this really cool background effect that kind of gives the impression of snow um, without you having to sort of like paint it in. So it's really, really a fun way to achieve a cool effect. And uh, thanks so much for watching and like and subscribe for more watercolor content.